Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check something new from Ebro. That's a 120 scale which copies Brabham BT18 Honda F2. That's 1966 F2 champion and as you can see that's quite a sleek uh, racing car which we can copy in the scale from this moment. So this is a commercial sample so it means you get exactly the same kit if you order it from any good model shop, maybe even directly from Ebro. And now we are going to check it closer. So here you can see comparison with my hand. It's not that big box I would say. We have this nice box art on the front. Then we have also short history note about the real vehicle. Of course the rest of the manufacturer and pictures of the assembled vehicle. So just let me focus the camera so that you can see it properly. And as you can see whole internal structure will be detailed. And it is typical for Ebro, so here is no surprise. Here we have two more, uh, actually four more pictures and also some text in Japanese. Also some information about the kit that glue is not included. Uh, extensively detailed four-cylinder Honda F2 engine, removable cowling, uh, separate tubular space frame. And of course driver figurine is not included here as well as glue. That's a top opening box. And here is what we have inside. So as you can see, there is plenty of space inside. So no worries, everything will arrive intact to you. And each sprue is packed into the separate plastic bag, which is also quite nice because um, you won't have any broken parts due to this. As usual, we are going to start with plastic sprues and then slowly we will go with other components as well. So first one is molded out of this grayish plastic, which obviously replicates metal. Actually, some others believe, and me too, uh, believe that this plastic actually hints that this kit can be assembled without painting. But obviously nobody will do it because to assemble such nice plastic without painting will be a really horrible thing to do. So here you can see first plastic sprue. As you can see, the main frame is molded as one piece part, quite a complex shape. Uh, so you just separate it and use it for your car. Then here we have some internal parts. This will be used for structure elements. So be careful, especially with those thin parts. But attachment points are really thin. I can zoom in even more so that you can see how thin are those attachment points. That's a really good feature. And I appreciate that such parts, such molding quality is used with this kit. Next we have different color plastic here. We have um, let's say external panels. This will be used for the body of this car. Just give me a second to open it. Okay, so here they are. Obviously nobody will use them like this. They will be repainted, first primed, then repainted, polished in order to get the same finishes on the real car. But as you can see the top cover is molded as one piece part. It will be removable as well as cooling. And inside we have also guiding elements which will help you with proper position of these parts because such large part really needs some help in order to be placed in the right spot. Then we have another cover that's already third cover in this kit which is quite funny. This time we have black frame. So just give me a second to cut the plastic bag. Okay, and here we are. So here mostly, just let me center it, we zoom out a bit, and now we should be able to see all parts in this frame. So here the most obvious part, the most, uh, let's say, difficult not to notice part is this driver's seat. Then we have steering wheel, dashboard here, radiator one piece, several types of the wheels because as you remember rear ones were wider than the front ones. But note that they're molded without tires, tires will be vinyl ones of course. Then we have engine ports, transmission ports and some tubing for the engine as well. Note that springs are molded out of the plastic which is quite surprising because some manufacturers include them as metal parts but here we have plastic and each spring is attached via six attachment points so be careful while separating this as you can see they're really small here you can see comparison with my fingertip and of course it is quite interesting design solution i would say but it will require some uh, time in order to 
separate them off the frame. Okay, if you thought that there are only three covers of the plastic, you're wrong. Here is the fourth one. And those are chrome parts. It's quite surprising uh, when you see amount of these chrome parts. Obviously, professionals will strip everything and repaint with some, uh, let's say, uh, professional chrome paint. But as far as I can see, they look not that bad, I would say. Yes, they are not realistic much, I would say, but still, maybe for some models it will be enough for out of the box build. So, what we have here is structure elements. Just let me center the sprue. So, as I said, structure elements, some suspension parts. Also, we have exhaust tips, um, various steering arms etc etc everything is molded nicely but as i said uh, for example those suspension arms i would rather repaint them because they look a bit toyish but otherwise some parts might be used straight from the sprue of course the final decision will be up to you because you will decide what to see on your uh, model next we have quite interesting packaging because as you can see here we have plastic bag, actually a combination of two plastic bags. We have frame and also this small plastic sprue with engine because engine block is molded as one piece part. So that's why manufacturer decided to do it like this. Just let me open the uh, plastic sprue first and then we will check the engine. So here we have this grayish plastic sprue. As you can see, we have uh, some internal parts for the uh, monocoque and also we have brake discs which are molded together with calipers. Uh, then we have some engine parts, transmission parts once again, uh, various pipings. And let me bring these brake discs closer because they have quite interesting uh, surface detail. Here you can see it. It looks quite good. Let's flip it over and here you can see it from the other side. So from both sides these brake discs are detailed. As you can see we have special cutouts. Everything looks good. And just an example, here you can see engine parts which also look nice. And of course these thin parts be ready to work with them. But as you can see uh, at amount of the attachment points for these thin linkages is reduced to minimum. It's just three attachment points. It's really cool but also it will require you to be careful while handling this sprue because it might be easy just to accidentally press on it and then you have the problem. Now I'm trying to open the section with engine because as I said it is packed separately and here we have main engine block here it is as you can see it is quite small so I will just bring it closer in order to see it in detail. So everything is molded out of the box. You will have to add only front and rear walls, also top part. And of course, all those exhausts from the sides. But molding quality is really great. I like how this engine looks. And I think once you spend some time with painting, you will get really impressive result. Next, we have this plastic bag. Winey wheels. Let's zoom in. And now I will just let's say cut off this plastic bag. Okay. So I will show you only one because these are basically the same tires. And we also have the vinyl polycaps there. But the tire is interesting because it has quite nice tire pattern. And as you can see, we don't have the seam in the middle, which is typical for such parts. We also don't have detailing on the tire walls. As you can see, they are quite simple. But still, with some careful uh, installation and maybe even weathering, you will get a nice result. Next, <coughs> sorry. Next, we have um, plastic bag with decal sheet. So again, just give me a second. Why I'm a bit surprised? Because I don't see assembly manual in my kit. That's a really cool bonus for me. But of course in your kit it will be included, so no worries. 
but in mind they just forgot to put it inside so we, we won't be checking assembly menu in this video review here you can see decal sheet there is no mention where it is printed but we have decals for the dashboard we also have all necessary numbers which is also quite nice and from the back side you can see there is no name where it was printed surprisingly and last but not the least is this transparent plastic sprue so just give me a second to cut it mm, cut the plastic bag and we'll check closer what is inside so here we are we have here all necessary transparent parts for this kit as you can see one and two i'm not sure what this part will do and as you can remember we don't have um, assembly manual so we won't be able to check what it actually does but otherwise it's really great molding quality of course masks are not included into this kit so you will have to cook out somehow masks for this part it will be a really funny procedure in my opinion but and that's pretty much all I don't see P parts included into this kit so out of the box it should be quite detailed even without P in my opinion so of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us out greatly and of course you won't miss any new video review. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye.